Hi, I'm Veronica from the Ocean Protocol. Holding Ocean tokens is a great way to gain exposure to the crypto data economy. Today, I'm going to show you how you can generate passive and active Ocean rewards using the new VE Ocean and data farming features. We'll start by navigating to oceanprotocol.com. And on the homepage, you'll see a large pink button in the middle of the page that says Earn Rewards. We'll go ahead and click on that button, and that'll take us to a page that looks like this. Now, I'm on the test net, but of course, all the steps are the same as if I was using mainnet Ocean tokens. Let's connect our wallet. And you'll see this page that starts with the weekly round of Ocean Rewards that's distributed on the following Thursday. On the left-hand side of the page, you'll see that half of the rewards are passive rewards released to those who hold VE Ocean. And on the right-hand side of the page, you'll see that the other half of rewards are active rewards released to those who have allocated their VE Ocean to their favorite Ocean projects. Let's click on Get VE Ocean. And on this page, you'll see Lock Ocean, Get VE Ocean. So what is VE Ocean? VE Ocean stands for Voting Escrow Ocean. And it's a really cool token that gives you the ability to vote on your favorite ocean projects. If you're familiar with Curve's VECRV token, then this is a fork of Curve's VECRV code. Let's lock 100 ocean tokens. As I enter an amount in the Ocean Amount form field, you'll see that the Lock Multiplier and Receive VE Ocean update. As I select a different calendar date, the Lock Multiplier and Receive VE Ocean also updates. As a general rule, the more Ocean tokens that you lock, or if you lock them for a longer amount of time, the more Ocean rewards you get. Let's change our lock end date for farther in the future. So I'm gonna place it, let's say, next April. And you'll see the lock multiplier and receive VE Ocean really increase. We're gonna go ahead and click this check button and then press allow. And it's important to know that there are two transactions that need to be approved for this lock to go through. We successfully locked our Ocean tokens and now you'll see on the right hand panel it says update VE Ocean lock. That allows you to increase the amount of Ocean tokens that you wanna lock or increase the lock end date farther into the future. Both of these will increase your rewards. However, we can't shorten the lock end date once your tokens are locked. You'll see on the left hand panel a status of your VE Ocean tokens and your locked Ocean. Once your lock date ends, you'll be able to withdraw all your lock tokens here. On the upper right hand portion, you'll see your allocation power. And this is the ability to earn active rewards by allocating your VE Ocean tokens to Ocean Market projects. In order to do so, let's go ahead and click on the Data Farming tab. It's on this Data Farming tab that I can allocate my VE Ocean to different Ocean Market projects. In the grid below, you'll see all the different Ocean Market projects and the columns are sortable or I can scroll down through the different options to allocate my VE Ocean. I'll go ahead and select total allocated as my first sorting function. The medical data set Novel Pet Radio Ligand is one of the first results. So I'm going to allocate, let's say 60% of my total available allocations to this project. And let's say I wanna choose another project, for example, another medical project. So for example, this faces and objects in ventral temporal cortex fMRI is another medical data set. So I want to allocate, let's say the remaining 40% of my allocations to this project. Now I've gone ahead and submitted my allocations. It's time to sign the transaction. Let's click update allocations and approve this transaction by paying for the estimated gas fees in ETH. It's important to note that the active rewards that you get depend on the sales of the projects that you voted for. So if the projects you voted for didn't sell, then you can't get any active rewards for those projects. Thus, it's important that you vote on the projects that you really believe in and do your research. Let's click on the rewards tab and that brings us to the same page we saw in the beginning of this video, except your percent allocation and balance of your VE Ocean now appear but your VE Ocean here might be different and less than what you saw earlier. And that's because your VE Ocean decreases linearly over time until the lock end date of your Ocean tokens. 
Your rewards are calculated weekly on every Thursday, so you can claim your rewards here on Thursdays or wait for them to accumulate until the lock end date of your ocean tokens. And lastly, the About tab. The About tab takes you to a blog post where you can learn in greater detail about VE Ocean and data farming. If you enjoyed what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this in the future.